Hello YouTube! If you have played pretty much any Super Mario game, chances are that you have seen a piranha plant before. Which brings us to my wife and I's latest project, a life-size piranha plant. It's built almost completely out of paper mache. The plant is about 65cm tall and 75cm wide from leaf tip to leaf tip. The green pipe the plant is mounted on top of adds another 1m and 10cm to its height. The first step of the project was to find a local shop that sells those huge round party balloons that would make a good template for the piranha head. Since we haven't used paper mache since elementary school or so, we started googling for recipes and figured out that we could either use water and glue or flour with a dash of salt. For convenience, my wife and I settled on using water and flour and began to add several layers of paper mache. I think we created 5 layers or so to make it as solid as possible before we removed the balloon and trimmed the edges. We spent quite some time planning on how to create the lips. First we thought about using paper, but that didn't give us the necessary thickness. Later we tried balloons used to create balloon animals, but also those were too thin, so trying to stack them didn't look any good either. Fortunately, my parents gave us an awesome idea of using pipe insulation, which was perfect. So my wife got the job of tailoring it to fit the piranha mouth. Next, we used more paper mache to cover the lips and a belt to keep the correct shape while it was drying. After it dried completely, we did the same with the upper lip before we patched the corners for a natural transition between the two. The tongue is simple, just another regular sized balloon with a couple of layers of paper mache. For the stem, we used a bendable pipe stuffed with insulation for extra support, while for the leaves, we used cardboard and mounted them to the pipe using some custom 3D printed support for getting the angle just right. Since we couldn't find any suitable template for the teeth, we decided to utilize our 3D printer and print one. We then used a balloon to smooth the surface of the print and make it easier to remove the paper mache once dried. Now that all parts were complete, it was finally time to give them some colors. First we used an oil based primer before adding multiple coats of ordinary wall paint. Fortunately my wife likes to paint and after just a couple of days everything was colored and looking awesome. The final step was mounting the teeth, but also that was a lot easier than we thought. We used some styrofoam to get the right angles and with a bit of hot glue all 9 teeth were quickly in place. At last we used some clear coat to give it a nice glossy finish. And here you can see a short video of the finished result. The pipe the piranha plant is mounted on is made of wood with a thin sheet of metal bent around it. Here you can see a before after photo of our little arcade corner in our apartment. As you can see we had a small fireplace in the right corner which we have never used. So the pipe does a perfect job at hiding the fireplace and gives the arcade corner the finishing touch it needed. We hope you appreciated our little project and I will see you next time.